Here we go. Final rant. Uh, you're being lied to about banned books in Florida. Take a look at this video. This is a quick video. I'm at my school right now. I just want to show you something because the state just came, just came last week and um, decided what books were appropriate or inappropriate. So I'm going to figure out how to show you. Inappropriate. This is a book that's been deemed inappropriate. These are the boxes of books waiting to go out. Look how big this box is. I'm gonna show you some of the titles. Oh, show them this one too, Black and Aviation. Yep. We have um, 20th Century Writers. We have Ooh, Rosemary in the Woods. Ooh, this is a good one. American this The is Hauntist. Good one. The Big Lie. The Big Lie. Right, it's all about Judaism. Women of Nigeria, Hitler, El Salvador. These are presidential. These are just a few of the books that have been deemed inappropriate. Lewis and Clark. That video is from Brevard County, Florida. Those are Brevard County school workers. Brevard County put out a statement saying that the video is misleading. The books are being put in those cardboard boxes for inventory and storage for the summer months. So no, books about the Tuskegee Airmen are not getting banned in Brevard County, Florida, or any county in Florida for that matter. This entire thing is a lie. And yet, nobody loses their job. This person works for Brevard County Schools. She made the video. She put it up on Twitter. Brevard County School Districts had to put out a statement saying, no, we do this every year. It's just a matter of we take the books, we take inventory, we store them, then we put them back in the classroom before the school year begins. There's no book bans in Florida. There's no don't say gay. People are not being perp walked out of school for being gay. None of that's happening. None of this is happening. And by the way, Disney is not closing that office park because of Ron DeSantis. As I pointed out in the argument, they're losing money. So it's just a nice little ruse. But there's no book bans. Because if there were book bans, that would mean you would not be able to go into a Barnes & Noble or any other bookstore for that matter and buy said book. You would not be able to order it on Amazon because Amazon would not be able to legally ship it into the state of Florida. That's not happening, not in the schools, not in the stores, not anywhere.